Greetings to everyone. Welcome to MAFA, that's the Mathematics Academy for Africa. So today we are going to solve the solution to Mathematics Littoral, Advanced Level Mathematics Littoral Mock 2022, Paper 1. We are going to solve the first 35 questions. So the solutions has been separated into three different parts. So we are going to have three different videos for them. We are just for the first 35 questions, yes. We going to have three different videos. So this is part one. This video is part one. And then I am still sure I am the one that is going to work with you throughout the presentation for this particular so for, for this particular paper. So let's move directly to question one. It says the root of the quadratic equation that's the quadratic equation cx square minus 3x my, minus c is equals to zero r so we are required to find the root of that quadratic equation so this is a quadratic equation so we see that we are going to use the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a so we are having that's our equation so if you compare with our quadratic formula we know we are having a is equal to c, b is equal to negative 3, and c is equal to negative c. Well, c is equal to negative c is not like saying that it is really equal it's just a representation. So the solution will be 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 square minus 4 into c into minus c all over 2c as shown. Since we know, since we are having just substitute, we are having the corresponding value just substituting the formula. You are going to have, if you simplify well, you are going to have 3 plus or minus root of 9 plus 4 c square all over 2 c. The answer c. Moving to question 2. Given that a, b, and c are constants, x square over x square minus 1 can be expressed into partial fraction as. So here we need to express this into partial fractions. Mm, solution x square over x square minus 1 is equal to x square minus 1 plus 1 all over x square minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 here above here minus 1 plus 1 is just like i've added 0 if you add 0 to a term you have added nothing since uh, minus 1 and 1 are just you cancel each other so you just be left with x square over x square minus 1 which is it means we have, we have changed nothing on the solution actually so x square minus 1 plus 1 all over x square minus 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 over x square minus 1. This is because here, if we take this first part, uh, we are going to have 1. And if we take this second part, we are going to have plus 1 over x square minus 1. That is, if you're having a plus b all over c, you're having a over c plus b all over c. It's the same thing you just applied here. So 1 over x square minus 1 is equals to 1 over x plus 1 into x minus 1 difference of two squares that's something that's obvious but 1 over x square 1 over x plus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to 1 over x plus 1 plus b all over x minus 1 and so from there since we left from year to year to year we can therefore conclude that this so that's the conclusion x square all over x square minus 1 is equivalent to a plus b over x plus 1 plus c over x minus 1 a b and c are constant so yeah that the equation is as said above the answer is a so moving to the next question question 3 given that 16 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x squared is equal to 1 then the possible values of x are hmm, let's see what the solution gives Having 16 to the power x divided by 2 to the x squared is equal to 1. The first thing you have to do is multiply both sides by 2 to the x squared, which gives 16x to the power x is equal to 2 to the power x squared. But 16 is the same thing as 2 to the power 4. So if you do that, you are going to have 2 to the power 4 times that is 2 to the power 4 all that to the power x. So the same thing as 2 to the power 4x is equal to 2x squared. Bases are the same. You just equate the powers. You are having 4x equals to x squared x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. We factor out x, x into x minus 4 is equal to 0. From there, you're having x is equal to 0. x is equal to 4. Answer B. Mm -hmm. Question 4. It says, given that log 2 is equal to a and log 3 is equal to b, then log 8 base 9 is equal to. So you're having to find an expression for log 8 base 9 in terms of a and b. 
the solution is as follows we are having this okay we know that log 2 is equal to a and log 3 is equal to b so the best thing we have to do here is to express log 8 base 9 in terms of log 2 and base and and log 3 we know that if you apply a change of basis we are having log 8 base 10 or log 9 base 10 is equivalent to 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power 3 so you're having 3 log 2 all over 9 the same thing as 3 to the power 2 we are having 2 log 3 we are having if you simplify if you just substitute the corresponding values of log 2 and log 3 you're having that log 8 base 9 we are same thing as 3 a over 2 b which is the answer b question Mm, 5. Given the polynomial p of x equals x minus 4 into x squared minus 1 plus 2x plus 3. The remainder when p of x divided by x squared minus 1 is... Oh, yeah, we need to find the remainder when p of x divided by x squared minus 1. Mm -hmm, interesting. P of x is equal to... That's the equation. So, we are having p of x all over x squared minus 1 is equal to... So, in this, we are noticing that x square minus 1 is going to cancel if we divide with x square minus 1 here so they are going to go each other but yeah since there is no corresponding they will just it will just be as a fraction as, as you are seeing so compare this with the quadratic formula f of x on divisor of x is equal to quotient of x plus remainder of x over divisor of x so if you compare this you are seeing that this remainder is the same thing as this one here so and the remainder is 2x plus 3 Answer B. Moving to question 6. The range of values of x for which x minus 3 into x minus 4 is less than x minus 3 is. Okay, let us see what it is. x minus 3 into x minus 4 less than x minus 3. The person you you open the bag and then you simplify those don't just you simplify you're going to get this you try to simplify and see if you get it yeah leave me a comment below to know if you finally got it or not yeah i will be glad to attend to you so you're having x square minus 8x plus 15 is less than zero you factorize you're having x minus 3 into x minus 5 is less than zero so if you solve this you're going to get this how fine you just get to a, a rough paper and then try to solve it and leave me a comment below if you don't have it or if you have a different answer just let me know so i can attend to you so you see the answer is c oh so that's glad you already had more a half of this paper more than a half of this paper mm, yeah okay question seven the range of values of x for which lean one minus two x less than zero is uh, the first thing to do when you are giving a function is to always find its domain of definition always yeah the domain of lin 1 minus 2x is that is lin a that lin a only exists if a is greater than or equal to zero if a is less than or equal to zero it will not exist so 1 minus 2x should be greater than zero strictly greater than zero it implies x should be strictly less than a half now let us solve the inequality given to us that's the inequality taking exponential of both sides you are going to get each the lin 1 minus 2x is less than e to the 0 which is 1 minus 2x is less than 1 since e to the 0 is 0 and e to the lin a is a so you simplify yeah you are going to have 2x greater than 0 that x is greater than 0 so the solution will be the intersection in between the set of solution and the domain of definition the, yeah, the intersection is zero less than x less than a half answer c question number eight in how many ways can the letters of the word renaissance be arranged i don't know if that's how we read it but if you know the pronunciation yeah get to us via the our address email which is mathpraffic.com and don't hesitate to leave me a voicemail there to know or get us through whatsapp it will be better solution you're having renaissance interesting the first thing to do we count the number of words, of letters you're having if you count well i counted i got 11 letters count if you have a different number fine just play with it oh you're having no you're having 11 letters but 
we are having how many letters repeat do they repeat themselves we are having two a so the double we are having two a two e two n two s we don't have any triple so we don't have any letter we repeat itself twice so we just work with the ones we are having so if the this one is just a pretty simple question since the answer is just 11 factorial by 2 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial 11 factorial you take the number the total number of letters factorial all over the doubles each double factorial if you had a triple you just put the triple again factorial and so on and so forth the answer is a moving to question nine an examination paper consists of two sections a and b each of which consists of five questions students so a so if from this first we are having that a has five questions and b has five questions that's what we know students are required to answer three questions from section a so among the five questions of section a students are to select three to answer so you already have an idea about what to use combination and four questions from section b so they are to answer four questions from the five questions of section b that's also another combination in how many ways can the student select this question solution well i'm not like ken Ellison. i will go directly to the point if you don't get get us to understand better about it ah, like myself so you're having five combination three and five combination four is equal to 50 ways that's this another way to represent combination we read it five combination three and uh, because it is we are, we are selecting three questions from section a and four questions that's an four questions from section b that's why it is multiplication here it's equal to 50 ways the answer c moving to question 10 the binomial expansion of that yeah that thing there is valid for we need to find a binomial special for this so yeah we are having 1 minus 3x to the power half this to the power because the square root the square root of a is the same thing as a to the power a half times 4 minus 3x to the power minus 1 4 minus 3x is at the denominator 1 over a is the same thing as a to the power negative 1 validity of 1 minus 3x square what? of 1 minus 3x order to the power a half is the validity of a of such a thing is determined by you take the absolute value of this side behind here what i'm circling yes you take the absolute value of this and then you equate and you, you say it is less than one absolute value of this is less than one if and only if this is already a unit that is if one is already here if one is not there you first need to divide before taking this but since one is here we don't need to stress ourselves we go directly having absolute value of negative 3x less than one implies minus one over three is less than x less than one over three whoa validity of four minus three x to the negative one is yeah you see that this is not one so we first need to divide by four we are going to have one here if you divide by four you're having one minus three over four x to the power a half which is but if you do that just get us if you are interested to see how the miracle performed before reaching to this if you just bring us bring it well just bring it on so we have minus king over 4x is less than 1 implies minus 4 over 3 is less than x is less than 4 over 3 answer a Whew. Okay, this question 11 the coefficient of the term independent of x in the expansion of that is okay oh wow if we have in that term that we need to find is term independent of x so having six combination r that is n combination r times a a which is this side here combination m what am i saying a to the power n minus r n which is six minus r and then x over two to the power r that's b since this a this b this n to the power r so if you simplify this take a rough work and try to simplify you see if you get what i have here Mm, yeah just play with it boom at the time independent of x you have having x to the power zero at the time independent of x is to the power zero that's obvious so if x is to the power zero at the time independent it means that this side here it should be x to the power zero implies you equate the powers based at the same you have r is equal to three 
and the time independent of x is 6 combination 3 times 2 to the power 6 minus 2 to the 3 that's 20 see yeah c is the answer now the so moving to this question the last question for this first part of the solution we are having the sum of the first n term of the arithmetic sequence is given by s n equals n over 2 into n minus 3 the common difference of the sequence is here we need to find the common difference well to find the common difference we first need to find the n term the n term which is given by s n minus s n minus 1 note it is not s n plus 1 minus s n because if you use that you are going to have the n plus 1 term so here you are going to have you substitute n minus 1 in the expansion below above pardon. you are going to have you, bon, what you are seeing on the screen yeah what you see on the screen exactly it so you try to simplify and you well try to play with it you are going to have cn is equal to n minus 2 it implies that the nth minus 1 term if the nth term is n minus 2 is then the n minus 1 term will be n minus 3 the common difference is gotten by subtracting cn minus 1 from cn as n minus 2 minus n plus 3 that's minus into n minus 3 but since there is a minus in front of the 3 is going to change addition that's 1 common difference here is 1 answer D thank you for watching this video I hope you like it so if you have not yet subscribed to this channel make sure to do so if you like the video just leave us a button a blue button yeah the blue one they will really be encouraging to get you guys um, to to work bon, all those politeness everything else thank you really for following us mafa which is good you which is you good luck for your examinations